Let's try something different. I'll be that young rapping dude. Might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby. Might just clap your crew. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike. What is up, Growlians? I'm back. Yes, that's right. I am back. Today, I come to you as a change man. I'm no longer Eyesight. I am now Sea Breezy. My channel of my YouTube name is also Sea Breezy. Now I'm going for a different name. I said seemed like I was depressed and like an emo kid or something like that, but I'm not. So what is going on today is I'm going to show you how to walk down memory lane. Yep, you heard it right here, guys. I'm walking down memory lane. Where is memory lane exactly? Well, it's in Italy. That is right, folks. I am in Italy. And the only reason why I'm here is because I didn't know how to get here. I haven't played this game for two years. And I search a video on how to get to Little Italy. And the people that are talking in there, I can't understand them for nothing. So today, I'm going to show you how to get to Little Italy. And then bring up some other topics about future videos on this channel. Hope you guys enjoy. Welcome back. Okay, so you get into the game, and you want to know how to get to Italy to do this new grape job, right? Well, here's an easy way how to do it. There's two entrances to get into the, the place where you get the gondola to go to Italy. So what you want to do is you want to come down to the main bridge, okay? That connects the two islands. And then I'm going to show you about right here at this ramp. There's an entrance, okay? So that's where we're gonna make our way to, right about now. Let me pull up my gun. You know, I gotta stay cocked, locked, and ready to rock in case some people try to pop off on the dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so it's safe and clear. We're gonna make our way down here. The first one here, is some vandals, you know, spray painting, darn kids. Darn kids! This one, I'm gonna check out a little bit later probably do it off camera just to see what it is I've never even seen it before but now so one two three your third entrance there you go folks Little Italy yep this is all Little Italy is there's a bar up here because they're trying to say Italians like to drink I don't know I'm Italian but I like to drink oh they look trash so we're gonna pick that up you know just because you know can you can't leave trash oh no I died oh please don't do this to me Okay, cool. Well, that sucks. Okay. So you just want to come up to this ramp on the right, and then you're going to grab this manhole cover. It's going to send you down here. Now, to get to the actual Italy part, guys, you have to grab the gondola. Grab that gondola. Be Nemo and touch the butt. Oh, my gosh. I touched it. Okay. My guy says, welcome to Italy. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess. I mean... I don't know why my guy is welcoming himself to Italy. What am I trying to find? All right, there's a reason for that 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 flower basket in a minute, guys. Like I said, you people probably already know how to get to Italy, and you probably already know how to do the grapes, and maybe found out the ratios. But I'm doing it for the sake of me, okay, guys? It's not all about you. Jeez. So what you just seen there, I went through those two bridges, and now I'm coming over here, and I'm going to go up this ramp right here. Alright, so I'm going to follow the ramp. This could be a little, a little tricky, because there's not really a map that I could show you. I have to kind of give you directions. So you have to come up here. Now you're going to go right, then left, up these stairs, and you're going to take this right all the way around until you can't go anymore. Now you're going to go straight up, and you're going to hit a hard left up here. Now hard left, and then, then the right, then a, 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 okay, okay, calm down, okay, we made it, now we're just gonna take our skateboard, you're gonna go past all this stuff, you're gonna come up here, go over the bridge, hi fishing guy, we'll get to you later, I'm gonna catch bigger fish than you ever caught in your life, okay, once you get to this peach colored building, pink, whatever you want to call it, in this tan brown one, whatever. 
colors, you know, whatever. You're going to go up the ramp, up the staircase here. Then you're going to come to this building. Now, once you see this gold brick building and the welcome sign, you're going to go right between them, guys. You're going to right betwixt them. And now, whoa, wait a minute. Deja vu. We're on Embry Lane, guys. Yes, you did it. You have done it. Look, you remember this? This was like five minutes ago. Not even. Like, maybe a minute ago. We were just here. And she said the same exact thing to me. Oh, wow. I think she wants my number. Do you see the way she was checking me out? Let me bend over and tie my shoe. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she wanted it. Anyways. So, we're going to go down here. <laughs> Sorry for the crude humor. And we're going to find another yellow house. For some reason, these yellow houses seem to be important. So, we're going to go check back at that other yellow house a little bit later and see what's in there. I, You know, I'll be surprised if there's anything. So once you're here, you're going to go right past it, and you're going to go straight up. Now you're in the great field. Okay, guys. I've already done this a couple times, and I can tell you that you're going to get about, let's say, 8 to 10 grapes per tree. And you get it just like picking a flower or picking mushrooms. You just spam your attack button on that plant, and you throw your basket at that grapes. You throw them at that, okay? And the grapes just magically go into your basket once you throw your basket at it, okay? Once you get 40 grapes, then you want to make your way into this golden house that I told you about earlier. The guy tells you to come inside to smash grapes. Okay, fine. Once you're in here, you're going to use a magic door. Yes, a magic door right here to the right. It doesn't look like a door, but it's a growl door. So, you're going to come in here. Now there's multiple rooms. And they, the, the bucket choices get bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, there is no difference. It doesn't matter if you pick, you know, the 150th one on this floor. Like, if you pick this one or you pick the very first one that you get into. I think they expected people to use it a lot, so they added a lot of convenience. I was anticipating maybe if I came down here that it would take more grapes, giving me more growlets, But it didn't. Would have been nice, though. I hope you're listening. Developers. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to hit smash that grab button. You're going to dump some grapes in the bucket. And you're going to follow the feet. Follow the purple feet. Because I don't have shoes on apparently. And my feet, my feet are purple. Oh. See, the prices vary. The prices definitely vary. So like I said, it takes 40 grapes to do it. And I would show you my grape count, but I have way more than 40. But it takes 40 grapes to do it. And that was probably my second lowest out of six attempts. My lowest was five. So my range is probably five to 11. You're going to get five to 11 per 40. So it's very hit or miss. So that's going to be, that means it's going to be very hard to range how they would do on the trade tables because they're sellable. So I'm pretty sure you can do it on the trade table. But for five growlets, that's like one and a half tro. So I don't know if you could do one for two ratio since there is that five growlet chance. I mean, I guess you could because it, say if I had 4,000 grapes, spoiler, just kidding. Um, say if I had 4,000 grapes, you know, that's what, 100 attempts? So that's probably... Anywhere from a thousand, it's only a thousand dollars. It's a lot of work for four thousand grapes. Did I do that right? Did I do the math right? No, it'd be four times, yeah, four times a hundred thousand, forty times a hundred to thousand. Yeah, that's booty. No, that's horrible. Okay, guys, I do not recommend buying grapes at the trade table. Listening to those numbers that I just rambled off really, really fast, I would not. I would, no, I would not. Unless you're selling grapes. I would not buy grapes, but I would definitely probably sell some grapes. Just because 4,000 grapes. And if I did like a 1 for 2 ratio, if I could pull it off, you know, that's like 8,000 tro. So it's 8 times 3, guys. That's 27, so that's like 27,000 growlets versus... Friggin' a thousand? 
That would be pretty cool. Uh, my math might be wrong. It is late. But I'm pretty sure I just did. I just nailed it. Well, guys. Now that you have seen Italy. And you've seen this. Let me know what kind of video you guys want to see. I'm thinking... You know, I want to get back into this, and I want to get back into this game. I missed this game. I've been away, like I said, for two years. I haven't touched this account. You know, I still have mostly all my stuff. I know they added a bunch of new melee weapons, tradable weapons, and they've also added fishing. So I could do, like, a fishing tutorial, which Italy is a great place to do fishing as well, because you can't get killed here. Um, I could do... PvP stuff, you know, maybe some scrimmages or some, um, like, bases, or I could do events, that could be cool, or maybe even do a whole different thing, maybe like a noob to riches type thing, where I literally take what I know about what the trade tables, even though the prices have changed dramatically, oh my gosh, I remember two years ago, the Ninja Hammer was 2,500 trail. I literally just bought one like before I even did this video for 300 tro. That is a huge decrease and I'm so glad I got rid of all the ones that I had back in the day. But let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment below. Leave a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Appreciate it guys. See you later.